Last summer, we featured a couple on this program called Martin and Marion Sheeran. Yes, and they told us how they uh, helped one patient lose weight by fitting them with imaginary gastric bands. Imaginary, right? We mm -hmm. said imaginary there. So, so it, it, it does what a gastric band does, but it doesn't exist, if you're with Mentally. Me. Mentally. Yeah. So inspired by all of this, our next guest, so please welcome Sharon. Sharon Ward and Jackie Hay, they are sisters. What they began to do was to look into their, uh, the idea of having their own gastric bands, gastric mind bands mm -hmm. here. Yes, and it well, worked. It worked. Quite incredible worked. results, ladies. Well, they join us now to tell us more alongside Dr. Ange, who will be sharing his thoughts on this procedure in just a moment. Now, ladies, this, this kind of seems... It seems just really extreme, really profound, almost. Mm -hmm. So you... Essentially, you get hypnotised, is that yeah, right? Yes. So explain a little bit about how that all works. It's a, a four-day course. Um, there's cognitive behaviour therapy, mm -hmm. so it's just going through what your problems are, why you're overeating or eating like you are, mm -hmm. and they just reset you. They're resetting you and re-educating Well, well let's brain. put it in yeah. context, right? This is yeah. you now. Mm -hmm. This is you. We're going to have to see, see you now the way you looked um, before, and we're talking about the, the sort of weight loss uh, mm -hmm. that's involved in this. Now, mm -hmm. honestly, that's unrecognisable. Yeah. I don't know which yeah. one of you that is. Is that's that you, me. Sharon? That's, that's you. That's crazy. Yeah. And uh, are you mm -hmm. basically double your body weight there? And... Five stone two... Uh, five stone three pound I've lost. You lost five. Right, yeah, so, Jackie, good. let's see you. We see, we see you now. There, there she go. is, right. What sort of weight loss yeah. is involved here, Jackie? Just over five stone, five My stone, maybe three. So in you've done less ten than a year. Stone, yeah. Over ten yeah. stone between yeah. the pair of yeah. you. I mean, just incredible. Like you say, completely. Just because you believe you've got a gastric band in there. Yeah, yeah. But you haven't. No. no. Doctor, you know you haven't, doctor, but please you explain. Me. Please explain. <laughs> so techniques like CBT, cognitive behavioural therapy, neurolinguistic programming, hypnotherapy, have been in use for years in terms of managing and losing weight, mm -hmm. and they do have varying success. Now, one thing we do have to remember, though, before we roll this out and 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 treat it like a holy grail, is we need to know whether it works for enough people, and we need to know whether it works over a long period of time. Only then can we compare it to existing treatments and truly say this is cost-effective and something we should have. Yeah. However, there is something in it. It's, it's all about brain retraining, rethinking the way you think about food. And actually, we can all practise more mindful eating really cheaply at home and see the benefits. Right, so give us an example. Um, Jackie, yeah. you were saying to me earlier that basically you can look upon food night as poison and you'd say that's not good for me just just sort of give me an example so certain, if i that, put burger and chips yeah. or something and a and a yeah. fizzy drink in front of you now certain types of food well, well, because of the therapy that we had um i would now look at food that's not nutritionally good and i can choose to eat it or not but i say rather than eat that i will if I want to eat, I'll eat something that's better nutrition. It's as simple as that. So since having this whole kind of treatment, as it were, do you, have, you, have you ever sort of splurged and had a night where you eat a big takeaway or, a, you know, a bad meal as such? Or no. does your mind just completely no. not go there now? No, the, the therapy is fairly deep and it is tailored to, to your own needs because everyone's yes, but problems The way you just different. explained that to me is the way anybody who's educated nutrition would think. But that's not what you're thinking. I mean, you were, that's not what you said to me earlier. You said to me that you would look at something and you say, well, look, I could drink this fizzy drink or I could actually say, that's bleach and I wouldn't drink bleach. Yeah. No, then I likened it to, if you offered me a glass of bleach, I wouldn't drink it yes. because it's not good for me. Right. Now, that's more like it. I can see how that would yeah. scare yeah. So the if you side offer of you. me something that's, you know, not nutritionally sound, I would yeah. just think, no, if I'm hungry, I'll eat something that's good for me, fuel. Mm -hmm. And I, I feel so much better, my thinking's clearer. Um, and, but the therapy has taken away all of the hard work. The cravings, you know, you know we've all been on... Because that's the hardest bit, yeah. isn't it? The craving, yeah. the fancy yeah. in the burger, the one in the takeaway. The... We've all been on, you know, So do, do you feel, Sharon, inside? Is there anything physical that you feel or is it all about before you put the food into your mouth? In other words, what mm -hmm. I'm trying to say is if you had a real gastric band, as I understand it, you would take three or four bites of that hamburger and then you the gastric so. band would say, yeah, oh, I, oh. I certainly don't eat the large volumes that I used to do. Right. Um, I can now recognise that I've had enough to eat and stop eating. But is that because, like Eamon said, beforehand you're making a, a conscious decision, a more of an mm. informed decision? Or your body saying, This isn't good, or you just it's feel It's a bit full. of both. 
Right. Uh, af you feel full. So I, I you, find you cut that, your portion that sizes. after a sufficient amount of food, I feel like a little snap. Mm. Yeah. Um, Stomach-wise, I'm assuming it's my stomach, and I just feel like a little snap. And I just leave the food because I know that I've had enough. And do, do you think it will ever wear off? You know, or m maybe Ranj, maybe you're the best person to ask. Obviously, how... Do they need it topped up? Yeah. yeah, so we don't know. That's the thing. Long term, the, the effects remain to be seen. But what I would say, when it comes to mindful eating that everyone can practice, and anyone that's had a gastric band should do anyway, mm -hmm. first of all, it's all about watching what you eat. So be more careful about your portion sizes. Mm -hmm. When you're eating, turn all other distractions off. So don't eat in front of the television. Smell your food before you eat it. Chew your food slowly savor the taste savor the texture before and then you'll naturally find and this will happen for everybody you will eat less when you do that a lot of the times it's the way we eat food as well as thinking about it that actually leads to the problems you've dealt with a lot of the the way we think about mm, food right. obviously there is no physical restriction to your stomach but remember your stomach when you naturally eat less will shrink mm -hmm. so you will feel yeah. full sooner and i guess you kind of get that with emotions sometimes you know mm. if you've gone for a breakup or a bad spot the last thing you want to do is eat you know i guess your mind is is powerful i was the other way my my life revolved around food right it was the answer to everything happy sad that was your ill of mm. everything yes and, and where, where are you at now, Sharon? How would you describe yourself now and the way you feel about yourself and the way and your reaction I feel, I feel fantastic. Um, but I can also now, I can stop myself if I have stressful situations <laughs> and I'll just think to myself, it's not going to help to have a bag of sweets or biscuits or something. Gosh. And I don't eat them. And do you have the number of this hypnotist? <laughs> I'm, get ask, you I'm asking for a friend. <laughs> I'm, <laughs> I'm sure we'll get her in it. Wow, that's brilliant. It's, it's, it's amazing, so Ranj. It's fantastic that they're sisters mm. as well and they've come through this journey yeah. together, which must that's, make a big yeah. difference. Can I, can I just say something? If there's time, that I had a lot of health issues before I started. Yes. And within weeks of the treatment, I was being checked regularly by a medical team in where I live. Yeah. And all of my blood results just went yeah. right down to normal. See? Very, Maybe it's very something we'll, we'll that's because of the loss of weight. Into yeah. mainstream very, very medicine. Maybe that yeah, was yeah. what needed to be done. Right. Took uh, me off my medication. Jackie, Sharon, thank you. Doctor, thank you all. Thank you very much yes. indeed.